My background is plant biology. I have a PhD in plant biology and I'm a son of agriculture. A half a year after I started my lab, there was a publication by a Japanese group that showed that if you put cannabis on breast cancer, it's blocking the ability to migrate. And this catch my eyes. It brings together the biochemistry that I did in my master's, the molecular and genetic plant biology which I did in my PhD, and the cancer which I did in my postdoc. And this was a fit to me. Cannabis is one of the oldest plants that we know that people use in agriculture and probably because it was very important medicinal plant that saves lives. When we started to work with cannabis, one of our main obstacles were that this plant harbor plenty of active compounds and we, we saw effect on the cancer cells, on the other types of cells that we use. We couldn't know which exactly compound is inside. And this makes this laboratory very unique. I think we are still the only one in the world that have the ability to analyze all the active compounds. We're doing many types of extraction. We can fractionate it, we can work with the cells, we can work with animals, we're working in clinical trials. So we're kind of holistic lab that's doing everything from bottom to top. Cannabis and cancer have long history. When we're using chemotherapy, we are suffering from pain, problem in sleep, from nausea. And cannabis helping in all these palliative care treatment is improving the quality of life of the patient. On top of that, there is a big question whether cannabis can really fight cancer. There is evidence that cannabis can fight the cancer and kill cells. In the lab, we see that there is specificity between the types of the cannabis and its ability to attack a specific types of cancer. So one type of cannabis will kill just prostate cancer, while the other one will kill leukemia or uh, breast cancer, but the, it's not the same one. In my lab only, we have over the 900 different types of cannabis, and we're trying to match it and to understand which types of cannabis and which molecules in the cannabis affecting which types of cancer and what is the mechanism. But still, the way is very long until we can treat really people. So in the lab, we have models for cancer, but we also have models for neuro disease like epilepsy, Alzheimer's, sleep disorders, and multiple sclerosis. We're working and checking how cannabis affects the immune system. We actually have a huge clinical trial that run outside. In Israel only, we have 48,000 patients that did cannabis under physician prescription. Now I can look inside and know exactly what chemicals are entering to the patient's body. And then I can take the outcome of the patient to understand if it's helping him to sleep, if it's help increase appetite, if it's reduce pain, and to match these two and to learn. Every cannabis in the last three years that the patient can get in Israel, going through my lab first, and we identified all the active compounds. So we have a library. We have actually a fingerprint for everything that the patient can get in Israel. Being in the Technion gave me the opportunity to collaborate with high-level scientists in many different areas. I'm collaborating with the medical faculty, I'm collaborating with the computer science, I'm collaborating with the chemistry. We have collaboration all over the world. We have actually guests from all over the world literally every day. Looking forward five years ahead, I see two arms of the medical cannabis. One arm is improving quality of life. Patients with pain, patients with suffering for cancer and taking chemotherapy, PTSD patients, all these patients can take cannabis as a whole that are improving their quality of life. On the other hand, treating specific illnesses, and this will be a very accurate pharma way, accurate treatment with specific compound to specific illnesses. Mm -hmm.